These right here are the amount of subscribers that we need to hit to just give up and travel. So these are going into this jar. What is going on, wolves? We are right now driving to the office. Inska is in the car. Hola, como están todos? I'm really excited today, guys. Ina is really excited because she is putting out a video today. It'll be up on her channel, and it's something that is really exciting, slash scary, slash just a huge risk she's taking. And we are taking. We're taking, yes. Because you're coming with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know, it sounded like you kind of. <laughs> we'll talk about it more when we get to the office. Yeah, today's gonna be an interesting one, so let's head to the office. Fit stop getting acai bowls. <laughs> Is my office. I don't know if you guys have seen the office before because I haven't actually been here in a while and I think actually in one of the videos a while ago when I first started vlogging I was here but then we traveled we didn't have time really much to come into the office but this is it a little studio back here where we do like video shoots and photo shoots back there it's like a little workstation area and all that conference room table area where we have ping pong this is Ina she comes at the office Hola. And this is Ina's drawing right up here that Ina made before she left for where? Mexico. That was a while ago, Ina. Long time ago. But the real question is, are you ready for your video? I'm nervous, but yes. Do you want to explain what you're doing? Should I? I think you should. And then if you guys want to watch the full video, make sure to click the link below and go to her video because she's really excited about it. Okay guys, so we want to start doing this YouTube thing full time. So what we want to do is to have the enough eyeballs to just leave everything we have and just go and travel and vlog. What we're going to do is today we're gonna do uh, like a random, like a raffle. How do you, what do you Yeah, a raffle, with this up here. These three jars. We are gonna do, first one for how long are you gonna, we're gonna travel. It could be a year, it could be a month, it could be whatever. Then uh, how many people we need to be subscribed in our channel to go. And then the last one, is how long do we have to hit this amount of subscribers? Whatever it is happens, we're gonna do whatever the jars say. So the jars are dictating our life. So if the jar says a year out of this country, a year, a year out. Only, yeah. only if, so the jar here is gonna say how long, right? Yeah. But only if these subscribers are met in this amount of time. So let's say this is you need to have 500,000 subscribers in your channel because that's what you pick out of here. Yeah. That means that you need to hit 500,000 subscribers in however long this choice is. In a year or whatever. Three months, whatever. And then how long you will be traveling for. So that, <laughs> she's in shock. I'm in shock because like, I'm gonna do it. We are gonna do it. This whatever is... this says, we're gonna do it. So now we're gonna write all the name, numbers and everything. And I hope it's not too crazy though, because I'm leaving everything behind. Biggest risk I've ever had, like, took in my life. I'm scared. And it's crazy because like, when you think about it, two months ago, Ina was deciding if she should do modeling or start YouTubing. So now, that's like crazy that this is happening because it's like, you, who would have thought? Two yeah, months no, ago. This is like everything. We'll probably like put the uh, apartment on sale. Uh, I don't know, everything, no? It's a big deal. If we're living for a while, yeah. You're down? I'm down. Okay, so whatever they said. No, actually, whatever. I'm just gonna be like, all right, you go. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> no, Adam, that would be kind of <laughs> scary. So, are you ready? You gonna start writing things down? Yes, please stop videoing because I need your help. Okay, I'll be back. I'm just gonna put the camera here. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound. Impossible. These right here are the amount of subscribers that we need to hit to just give up and travel. So these are going into this jar. And this right here is the time we will be traveling. So this has a month in it, this has three months in it, this has a year in it, this has six months in it. Yeah. So now we have the subscribers and we have the amount traveling. And this right here is in how long the subscribers need to hit the number. 
And now we have all three all filled up, ready to rock. Out filming right there because we couldn't really get the lights to work and it didn't really like the way it looked. So we're setting it up all right here now and I think we're gonna sit right there. Ah. Wow, you're getting creative, aren't you? Yeah, see the difference? I do see the difference. Yeah. Now the question is how are you gonna keep it up there? Oh. <laughs> Perfecto! Perfecto! This is it right here. I'm not gonna film any of this on this camera on my channel. So if you guys wanna see what happens with those jars right there and us traveling, go watch it on Ina's channel. Link below. I'm kinda nervous. Inska, what are you doing to me? I. And what do you think? It's done. The video is done. That was a lot. I didn't understand anything you were saying. You're not going anywhere, Adam. I know. Leave. Don't tell them that you have to go watch and see. you guys have no idea what just happened oh my God. The numbers that were picked all of that insane Crazy. I literally just stare at the camera because I don't know what she's saying now. We're gonna crush out some work What are we doing tonight? Oh, we're going out tonight. That's true. We haven't gone out for so long. I think your shirt's a little small So because we've been in the office working all day and filming and not really doing much outside of the office, I thought I would take this time to answer one of your guys' questions that was sent over in a video. I know I haven't done that in a while it's because I was in Yosemite and traveling. But on a day like today, when I'm not really doing much, I thought why not just answer a question. It's from Dub. So everyone, here is Dub's question. What's up, Adam? This is Dove in Los Angeles. How are you? I've got two questions for you. My first question is how do you become more confident in life, especially when it comes to walking into an important business meeting? Is there anything that you do mentally to prepare yourself to become more confident? What tips or advice do you have for us that um, we can do or try out to become that much more confident in life in general? My second question is, how do you overcome any fears of traveling? I know a lot of people live and like to live, you know, in their own comfort zones. How do you break that comfort zone? How do you leave that comfort zone and travel and be comfortable with being in unfamiliar cities and being in a completely different culture? So any tips or advice on that would be amazing. That's it. Thank you so much for answering my questions. I really appreciate all that you do and the content that you provide. Thank you. Doug, how do I get more confident? That's an interesting one because it all comes down to you. Everyone's unique. Everyone has their things that they're insecure about. Everyone has their things that they're confident about. For me personally, I'm really confident with talking into a camera because I've been doing it for a long time. So confidence can come from practicing. Confidence can come from doing things a lot, right? I'm confident when I talk business. I'm confident when I talk about social media because I know it. It's something that I'm really good at. Would I be confident talking about biochemistry? Probably not. I know nothing about it. So I think that's something that's really important. It's something that you really know a lot about and that helps you be confident. Walking into a meeting. Well, if you really believe in whatever it is you're doing and you really love it, confidence will come out because passion is something that will really show in whatever it is you're doing. Honestly, you know, if you're really passionate about something, the confidence will just be there. So I guess when it comes to like business and like meetings and like any of that stuff, I mean, for me, I had to go and speak in front of about 100 people for this event. And this was about a year ago. I was so nervous nervous thinking about like I have to go and talk in front of people I've always been kind of scared to talk in front of people which is weird because I talk to you guys every single day and I know and I don't have an issue with it meanwhile thousands of people are watching me but I guess it's different when you're in person live 
and I've always had like stage fright. And I'm not sure why it is, but it's always been something I think you kind of build it up in your mind and make it way worse than it really is. For me, what I just tried to do is just try to get into my head and be like, look, what's the worst that can really happen? Just go out there and just do your best. The situation will work out better than you could have ever imagined. That's something I say about everything in life. If you say that going into something that you want to do, then your mindset your confidence is gonna be a lot better. So I don't know, I guess, you know, me going up on stage and just talking, I realized like this isn't bad, I actually like it. I like interacting with people. This is really fun to see like a live response from people and I wouldn't have done that because there were so many times when I turned down live speaking things. So I'm happy I finally did it, pushed through my fear, was confident enough to go up there and just talk. It's whatever it is, going up to a girl, going to speak in front of people, walking into a business meeting, just being confident wearing clothing, holding a camera, whatever it is, you're eventually gonna not be here anymore and you'll be sitting one day when you're really old being like, damn, I should have done that. So just do it now, be confident. You are you, own that, run with it, and just be you. Because that's the best that you can do and you'll see it just becomes really awesome when you do that. So that's question number one that I answered for you. Question number two is about traveling. For me, traveling is one of the most powerful things and most amazing things you could ever do to your life. Because one, you get out of your comfort zone. You do things that you're not used to doing. Everyone's kind of in a bubble. Everyone kind of stays on this leaf. Imagine you're a ladybug and you're on a leaf. And all you can see is that leaf. That's all you know, that's your whole world, is that leaf. Get out of that leaf, go to another leaf, go to another plant, go to the other side of the pond. I mean, there's so much out there, the world is so big, we are so small, and all we know is what's around us. Traveling gets rid of that. Traveling lets you experience things that you've never experienced before. Traveling gets you to go places that are beautiful that you've never imagined were there. And it's just one of the most amazing things. Now. Yes, it can be scary. It's scary getting onto a plane, going to an unknown place that you've never been before. But what, what are you gonna do if you don't go? You're just gonna sit and hope that one day you will go to that place? That's not what you wanna do. The way to get over fear is by just doing it. Go travel somewhere that you've never been before with no one, no friends, no family, just you. It forces you to one, be confident, to go and meet people. It forces you to go and experience places and do things without other people kind of helping you do it. It's one of the best things you possibly can do for just growing up and just experiencing things. Not everyone has the luxury of just traveling. I understand that. But this works for anything. Have you ever just gone to a coffee shop or a restaurant or a movie by yourself? It's a really weird kind of feeling. The first time I did it, I was like, this is weird. Because normally you're used to talking to someone when you're eating. You're at a movie, you're used to having someone next to you when you're buying the tickets. But doing it by yourself is like a whole nother thing. And you start to think about a lot of things that you wouldn't think about if you were talking with a conversation with a friend or a family member or someone with you. So I recommend all of you guys to just do something by yourself. Whether it's traveling to the unknown place that's scary or just going to a movie theater. Doing stuff by yourself not only is good for you as a person, but it's also a great way for you to just be more confident. Kind of mush those kind of two together. I don't know if that kind of makes sense to you guys, but that's my two cents for you, Dub. Hopefully that helps and anyone else who has issues with any of this stuff or has been thinking about it. And uh, yeah, just wanted to bring that up because I was watching your video right now, but I'm gonna get back to some more work right now. So with that said guys, I'm gonna say goodbye right now and end today's video. We'll be back tomorrow. I think we're going down to uh, Laguna Beach tomorrow. Are we? Yeah. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But we're gonna be going to do beach activities and be out in Laguna Beach, which is about an hour south of Los Angeles tomorrow, which we're really excited about. Hopefully you guys liked this video. I know it wasn't too crazy, not too much action happened, but hopefully what I talked about helped some of you guys out. Go and watch Ina's video if you guys wanna see what we're gonna be doing. Link below for that. So that's it guys, I'm gonna end it off with the normal keep being a wolf, follow your dreams, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!